it's a Sarah and today I'm doing a 1920s flapper inspired tutorial. This is really good for a night out or for like a Halloween party since Halloween is coming up next month. I take inspiration from some 1920s ladies and pictures that I've seen online of Claire Bow, Louise Brooks, Joan Crawford, etc. So I try to make this look as historically accurate as possible. Along with the makeup, I also did the hair. I did this faux bob, which isn't like it. it especially flapper um the, the short hair wasn't style but it wasn't necessarily bobbed i saw more of like finger waves which like really wavy but um you know i tried you know if you didn't want if you don't want to wear like a wig or actually cut your hair this is a good alternative for like a one day you know or one night type thing where you could just get your hair really really short so if you want to do how I, if you want to see how i did the makeup and the hair then just stay tuned Okay, so the first step, I'm going to redefine my brows, and this is totally optional, but I'm going to do it in a more like 20s style. And what I noticed from seeing the pictures online was that the eyebrows are really thin and really round, and there was like no um, arch. Like, I mean, there was, but it wasn't angular, that's what I meant. So I'm going to take a concealer and kind of um, conceal just like the outer portion of my arch where it's it naturally kind of pointy, and then I'll fill that in with my Sumita brow. Um, brow powder just like I normally do. I finished the brows and they're still slightly thicker than was the norm back then, but um, I didn't feel like actually plucking my brows that thin or um, I don't know, like covering them up, so I just kind of modified it, them a little bit and made it a little bit more round. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. And then I'm going to use the NYC Individualized Palette for the um, eyeshadows. And this has some really cool gray colors, which was a little bit more used back then. Um, I noticed that the looks were more smoldering and, um, you know, like grayish, not like too harsh, but worth with a whole lot of black, um, but definitely not natural. And this is in the color 941 Smoky Browns, which I don't consider these brown, but that's fine, so. So I'm taking this mid-tone gunmetal gray color, and that's gonna be my main lid color. So just taking a shader brush, I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. Taking the same mid-tone gunmetal gray color that I used on the lids, I'm going to take a small smudger brush and run that along my lower lash line. Smudger brush, I'm going to dip it into the shimmery black color and run that along my top lash line. So this is going to give us a really smudgy look. I'm going to line my eyes with the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. And I'm going to smudge that again along my top lash and in the very like outer third of my lower lash line. For the highlight, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I'm using the color Foxy. So it's this really creamy matte color. And I'm using this because I didn't want like another shimmer on my brow bone and the NYC palette was all shimmers so I'm gonna just pop that onto the brow bone and now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara and today I'm using the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara. So for cheeks, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush number 70. This is in Hot Tamale. Um, the blush back then was pretty exaggerated because with the invention of like powdered rouge, it was a lot easier for um, girls to apply their blush. So it wasn't as hassle-free as previous forms of um, the product. So I'm using a stippling brush. I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Now if you want to make this more wearable, then I definitely toned down the blush 
but if you want to go all out for the look, then definitely have fun with it. For the lips, one thing to note is the shape. Um, one of the shapes that I found really prominent when I was flipping through pictures was a really exaggerated cupid's bow, like really full and um, kind of round. And then the lower lip is exaggerated for a really pouty um, effect. And the color doesn't really matter. Um, I think some of the popular colors that I read were red and you know, bright oranges and pinks and all that sort of thing. So anything bright will work. Um, because more girls were wearing bright lipstick with the invention of lipstick in a metal tube, so it's easier to purchase. And the uh, lip liner I'm going to be using is a L'Oreal Color Rich Lip Liner in Always Red. And I'm actually going to finish it off with a balm stain in um, Romantic, and this is by Revlon. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> is done I'm going to move on to the hair so to get your hair in like a bob shape you're going to need um, a really like elastic headband now if you don't have like bangs or like a fringe to cover up the band then I would recommend something like really cute and a little bit wider but because I want to like position my bangs over the band it doesn't really matter that this is like plain and um, if your hair is longer and thicker you might also need some bobby pins and a hair tie to help get it under and to stay under so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clip my bangs out of the way. So if you have bangs, you might also need like a bobby pin or a clippy thing as well. I'm just going to clip this off. You guys can see my lovely forehead. Okay, and next I'm going to stick the elastic oops, over my head and then pull the hair through. So I'll show you how it goes from the back. My hair back. And then this band, I'm going to push it up and situate it on my forehead. And then, again, pulling the hair back. I'm going to put it in a really loose bun. Really, really loose. That's actually just going to help me, help the hair like all stay together. And then from here, I'm going to just kind of tuck it under the band and begin working with the hair. So from here, I'm also going to bobby pin my hair, you know, in the band and under so that it doesn't pull out. Alright, so now I'm going to take my bangs out and just sort of position them how I want. Now I know like this look isn't exactly like flapperish, I mean because obviously they cut off their hair, but um, if you want to get it short, this is like one way to do it. Um, okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other suggestions or um, videos that you'd like to see, especially anything Halloween related, uh, definitely let me, know, let me know so that I can prepare and whatnot. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.